This video covers how to firmware update the TI development board. XDS-110 is the onboard JTAG emulator used to program the CC3220. The XDS-110 is itself a MCU. This video explains how to update the software in the XDS-110 MCU. In order to do the update, you need a USB connection. Please verify you have a valid USB connection by plugging in the board and checking the device manager as shown. Here you can see the PC correctly recognizes that the board is plugged in via USB. When you installed CCS, see other videos on this channel, the installer installed a XDS-110 firmware update tool. In the directory shown, there are instructions on how to use this tool. You do not need to update the firmware on the board under normal circumstances. This procedure should only be done if the IDE explicitly tells you to. In most cases, the board is shipped with the correct firmware and you will not need to update it. Open a command prompt by clicking on, Start, Windows System, Command Prompt. The XTView executable is used to communicate with the XDS-110 debugger. The dash E option is used check the USB connection. Here is an example of a correct connection. Here are the steps to update the firmware on your board. You should only do this if the IDE has asked you to do it. Here are the results.